So here we are today in Holland Park, British Columbia, Surrey to be exact, and I'm here with Walter Nugent and his dog Pepe Le Pew. Let's start this conversation off by letting letting people know exactly who Walter Nugent is, where you're from, some background information on yourself. Well, I'm from Toronto, Ontario. I was born in 1943, and uh, April 1943 exactly, and uh, I moved out here uh, in 1971, hopefully to find a job. And I uh, found a found a few jobs which helped, but uh, and then I uh, met my wife in 1971, and so I decided in 1973 we'd get married. And we were happily married. She passed on April 11, 2008, and uh, but then before that we had met. Uh, we had been looking through the paper, and uh, we needed we wanted to find a dog because we had lost our dog a year previous to getting my my puppy here, and then. Uh, and all of a sudden we went to this, your house and they said sure. So we went in there, sat down in Chesterfield, the dog jumped in my arms and uh, come on Peppy, let's go. This is our dog now. So you had an instant connection? Oh yeah, right, 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 right from the first start. When he first saw me, he jumped right in my arms. He wanted to get out of there really, really fast. So, um, <coughs> Peppy Le Pew, that's not his original name? No, Peppy Nugent. <laughs> Peppy Nugent. <laughs> well, what was, uh, what was Peppy's name before he became Peppy Le Pew? A boy. A boy. Just, just boy. Just boy. Yeah. <laughs> and was he was he rescued? Can, is it safe to say that he was rescued from this home? I would say he's in a better situation now. Yeah, I would say yes, most definitely he was rescued. He was a rescued dog, uh, and the reason why I say that is because there's one time, one thing that he was put into a he was put into a small little kennel and big enough for him, and uh, to uh, to actually go to the bathroom, he had to go out in the deck, do his job. He didn't do his job for five minutes. He came in, did the, did the job in the kennel, and. Uh, he had uh, my cane. I got a cane here, and my my father had two canes. My wife had two canes. And he seemed to shy away from the canes all the way. Just go in the corner, just stay away. He didn't want to be bothered with anybody with a cane. And uh, that's the reason why I think he was hit with a cane or something like that, or hit with six or something. He had kids anyway, so uh, who knows? And that so. So how long have you and Peppy been together? Well, he's ten years old now, and we've been uh, we've had him since he was uh, three years old. Three years old. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go back to 2010. Pepe was really ill, and you made a frantic phone call to Sally. Can you walk us through that? Yes. Uh, what I did is uh, I uh, made a phone call to Sally because he had a cyst on the, a cyst or something on the side of his uh, neck right about here, and uh, it's his cheek, I guess it was. And uh, I was really, really worried about him, and uh, so I didn't know what to do. I was running around the house, and uh, just. Uh, just frantically out of it, uh, lost my head, lost it and everything else. So I uh, phoned the vets up and the vets said, bring him up to us and we'll take, we'll look at him. So I took him up there and I said, I don't know how I'm going to pay the bill. I says, well, we'll take care of that. And he phoned Sally and all that. And uh, I also phoned Sally. And uh, so then everything was fine after that. They said, well, Sally said, we'll pay for it. We should, was, yeah, we should mention that Sally does have a working relationship with High Point Vet Clinic. And how important was it for you to realize that this nonprofit organization was going to look after Pepe and, and cover the cost? Well, important to me it was because I didn't want to lose my dog, and uh, he's been with me. He was with me for a few years, but the thing is, I still wouldn't want to lose him because he's been my faithful companion for all this time, and uh, without him, I don't know what to do. Now we all know that anyone who has ever taken their pet to a vet clinic knows that it's not cheap, and the bills can add up quickly. Um, is it it's safe to say that you're on a fixed income? Yes, it is, yeah. So being on a fixed income and you have these vet bills that are getting larger and larger, the stress level must be uh, enormous. But that stress is taken away when you know Sally is out there. Yeah, well, I had a lot of stress uh, even uh, before this. And uh, when Peppy got sick, I really got stressed out in that. Uh, and Sally uh, helped pay for the expenses of Pepe's operation and uh, his medical bills, as well as his prescriptions and all that, and uh, I felt such a relief. It just took the stress off my uh, off my shoulders, and it just uh, well, it helped me realize, hey, there's somebody out there that really cares about animals, that really cares about dogs and that. And with that, to that kind of people out there, it shows to me that there's people out there that really care. They really love. Back in 2010, we've discussed about his. Uh, his initial ailment and how you came to get to know Sally, but this is not that wasn't the first time that he no. had been ill. No, 
Uh, the second time was when uh, it was about two years ago, a year or two ago, we almost lost and we almost died. I went into the lounge to get my scooter and I uh, come out and had someone looking after my dog for me and then all of a sudden, bang, I noticed that he says, your dog is bleeding from the rectum. I says, what? He says, what are you talking about? He says, I saw the blood on the floor and on the ground and everything else and I just lost. I just started screaming. It's so, so, so pathetic. I grabbed, grabbed a towel, grabbed him, put him on the floor and then took him up to the vets and the high point, the high point vets. And I was always, I was really stressed out there because the vet told me, he says, okay, you got him up here in time and 15 minutes later he would have died. And I said, oh, fantastic, you know, so they took care of him and uh, I kept on phoning there as well. He's got 75% chance of dying and 25% chance of living. And now I classify him as a miracle dog, a definitely a miracle dog. Now I can hear, I can hear the emotion uh, when you tell that story. And this happened a year ago? A year or two ago. So anyone who's watching this video and just myself standing here with you, I can, I can feel the emotion, the connection that you have with your, with Peppy. So, if you can address the people that are watching this video, why should someone contribute their time or their money to this nonprofit organization called Sally? Yeah. I believe that people out there should be uh, be aware of uh, people like Sal if organizations like Sally, in order to if they have an animal that's in stress, an animal that needs an operation, an animal that's really really sick, almost dying, dead, get a hold of Sally, please because it's, it's important. If you love your dog as much as I love mine, do something for him, please. Sally is the best thing in the world that ever happened to anybody. I mean, look at this here. This is my dog, my miracle dog here that survived through everything. He's quite a companion. Walter, I want to thank you and Peppy for taking the time out today and to many more years of happiness between you and Peppy. Thank you. Thanks, Walter.